Hello. We have arrived. Van time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Junkyard Digs. I'm Kevin, this is Dalton from Pole Barn Garage, and today we're driving this abandoned van currently sitting on Matt from Demolition Ranch's new Desperado abandoned ranch all the way to Phoenix so that we can take the engine out and swap it in to a disabled veteran's car. You ready for this? It's the most bass backwards way of doing this. <laughs> Buy an engine? No, get a van. <laughs> Four states over when you could have flown to Arizona. So as mentioned, this is Dalton, this is a van, and this is Demolition Ranch's new abandoned resort down here in Texas. And as I said, probably tomorrow, we leave with this van that's been sitting for a number of years, drive it straight to Phoenix, currently with no title. Avoiding all the authorities we can. <laughs> Passing through multiple border checkpoints. In this. In this. Dalton, what the hell are we looking at here? We're looking at a 90-something Dodge van with a 360 Magnum in it, which is of course the heart of this operation. And I mean the heart, because it's in there. It's a mile back. We don't know a damn thing about this van. Like I said, there's no title, there's nothing. So we're really uh, gambling on this one here. Yeah. We do know a little bit though, because last night we did come and throw a booster pack on it to see if it even spins or if the fuel pump works so that we can plan out the rest of our weekend. Let's go to that footage now. So welcome to the past. Do, 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 do. I'm speaking in future tense. Indeed. Interesting. We'll see you yesterday. <laughs> Let's throw some juice at this and see if our... Does it not have a thingy? I guess not. Oh, yeah. Come on down a little bit. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Go back up. Go back up now. Come on. Everybody, no touch. Do, <laughs> do not touch. Do not touch the pliers. Okay, activate egg wall. Ooh, Egg rolls on. Egg wall over temp. What's the fuel at? Fuel gauge. Zero. No fuel? No. That's a good thing. Got lights though. Whoa. Alright, let's go to Phoenix. I told you. Shut up. I told you. It'll Shut be up. It, it, it never goes it. that good. Pump it. Why? No. Egg will piss. Egg will mad. <laughs> Egg will won't even turn the press on. Uh oh. Egg will <laughs> die. Okay, so we're back, and as you can see, a better state of mind. Yes. Sober. <laughs> Let's grab some battery terminals, stick them on there, and see if this thing will come right to life today. Put some air in the tires, and hopefully that's all we have it to do. Just hit the road. Yeah. I bet the AC on this thing even works. I think you are way too optimistic. <laughs> If you pay attention to Kevin, this is the bulk of the work we'll be doing. I hope. Hardcore stuff here. The adventure in this one is going to be driving this to Arizona in a questionable legal manner. Correct. I don't know, maybe we can find the title in that abandoned office. You know, I think it's worth shit it on the floor. If you guys haven't seen it, we're actually spending the weekend out here at Matt's Abandoned Resort and doing the classic Junkyard Days camping scenario where you show up with nothing and find everything here. So and check provide that golf. Out carts yes which is still pending and job. cody <laughs> <laughs> all right we've got terminals run the pump a little more shocker maybe it's just out of gas it does so show nothing try again It's trying. I'm sure that'll clear up when we, you know, rev it up. I'm sure that'll clear up. Blow the cobwebs out of the fuel pump in the rear. After 1,400 miles. <laughs> oh boy, it's a bad. Oh, we have a busted tail light. Now we're definitely going to jail. Oh man, that's a federal offense in Texas. Does this say Mega Flint on the side? It does. Damn. Only the best. Mega Flint because it makes sparks and go fire boom. Yeah, what a name for a fuel pump. <laughs> a true clicky clack. 
That's <laughs> it's audulating. All right. We'll be back. Yep, see you in a while. All right, well, well that's doing its thing. We got the old JF Egg Wolf. TM. 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 Van Revival. Here we go. Needle. No fuel gauge. Probably rot it off. Probably. It's trying though, which is weird. Want to break? Let's uh, maybe we see if something's moved into the air box. Probably not a bad idea. Guess we got to pull the doghouse. Yeah, doghouse. Fun. Why did we get a van again? Oh, they're easy. Look at the multi-port fuel injection with like the same air cleaner they used for <laughs> 70 years. <laughs> well, they had a bunch left over still. <laughs> yep. Well. It's a Holly injection system. Holly V8. Wow. Uh, All right, Schrader valve. Here's what we want. Yes, sir. That doesn't even make sense. How does that work? <laughs> the Schrader valve's open and it's running. I'm, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna hold this open, which I know when I opened this the first time, a little I heard a little puff of air. Schrader valve's open. What? <laughs> you want to hit it with some brake clean? Yeah, I do actually. I know this will do nothing, but it makes us feel better. It'll go vroom. Yeah, it will. But you know, I'm like, yeah, we get the engine spinning, it'll pump some fuel up here. We well, at least check we got a good motor. Really good motor. Motor's great, it's wide as can be. Well, we need a fuel pump. It built pressure when it did that. There's air pressure in this line. Maybe it's bleeding. We could throw a jumper on the relay, or we could run it off brake clean, pull it forward 30 feet, and take the pump, the tank out. I think we just, let's go there. Okay, let's see if we can get a runner again. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff on that, wasn't there? Yes. It's great! Mission accomplished. Let's go home. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Motor's good. Trans is good. Brakes, I didn't test them, but they seem to have, it seems like it's a good pedal. Uh, we need a tire, yep. at least one, and we need a fuel pump. So let's pull a tank. All right. Let's we'll start there. Yeah. This is what you thought you'd be doing today? Yes. Yes. It is exactly what I thought I would be doing today, Kevin. See, I knew it would be bad, but I wanted to remain hopeful. <laughs> because anytime I expect a Dodge to perform, they let me down. So I thought maybe if I... Well, that's still the same premise. I don't know what I was doing. Incoherent just... nonsense. <laughs> oh, nice. We got a big hole in the tank. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Damn it. Mm. We can fix that. There's a junkyard around here. That only happens on TV. <laughs> Let me head down to the junkyard and find this one on one part. <laughs> oh, yeah, Richie's got it all. Kind of have to, I think. Well, oh, that broke. <laughs> it was just the, the clip. You can buy those at the junkyard. But the one of one clip. <laughs> We're going to lose the van. Kevin, that's only for red vans. Shit. Oh, it like burns my eye from the fumes. Oh, hey, this is nice. It's got like a screw-on bucket lid yeah. here. It's one of the, the one-piece assemblies, which makes it expensive, but convenient. Yeah. Drag her into the light. Maybe. <laughs> you know what? I take it back. It was convenient, but it's usually up here where you can reach and it. And it's really stupid now. It's we hate it. It's into a thing. Dumb. It got dumb again. Yeah. Instantly. All right, well, we're going to be here for a bit. We'll be back. 
God. <laughs> oh, they'll do it. <laughs> yes. I think yes. God I brought this for the hell of it. Brought it for the memes and it saved the day again. Well, it hasn't yet. Uh, yes, the big pliers. Ah, uh, the power. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well, I <laughs> found a problem. I think that was it, man. Yep. Is that a Cub Cadet air filter? <laughs> <laughs> We've that's like, Chrysler. We got a surplus of lawnmower air filters. Throw <laughs> them on. All right, let's go to town and get one of these. We have returned from a field trip to world's slowest Walmart tire store. My God. We have a new tire for this corner. We'll see about the others. They hold air for now. As you can see, these brakes are not so bueno. I'm going to get a wire wheel and a carbide scraper and try to clean those up just to get the rust off so they don't just glaze. And we get at least a little brakes out of them. And then we're going to throw our fuel pump in. Well, we're just swishing out the tank and it didn't go well. I peed myself with gasoline, weirdly. A... <laughs> We've been drinking this week. Uh... Maybe run into the shed and find some of the goat poop blankets. <laughs> Go toga. <laughs> I'll be back. In the meantime, the vehicle we brought down here in Cody, Dalton's brother is driving home alone tomorrow, yeah. is under the knife. What's going on? It's got a little bit of looseness. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm glad we're doing this, so you're going to have a safe drive home. Yeah, me too. Thank you for driving pretty much ah. the whole weekend, all the way down here, by the way. You're welcome. I like to be the responsible one in the group. Yeah, we need one of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my wrists are on fire, but you got it all cleaned up. It actually came out pretty damn nice. That will keep that rust from glazing onto that disc and give us a better chance of having at least some breaks. What we got there, Dalton? We scavenged. We hunted through this wasteland, found some towels to clean the gas tank with, which is pretty gross in here, actually, yeah, for a it's, plastic tank. It's pretty bad. It's full of rust. I just changed clothes. I do like this shirt more. Oh, well, yeah, it's better. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I could use the rest of that towel. All right, Dalton, what was the trick? Well, we found some simple green. Oh, wow. And it's... That's a lot better. So much better than just using gas. Let's get her reassembled and get her in. There it is. Gotta throw a little epoxy on the crack in the side, but... No problem. Uh, as you can see, we got the famed go. Matt and friends have shown up with their shorty shorts. And it is time to go ride the river for a little bit. At least we'll A little right bit of in. vacation on this vacation, actually. Wow. At this point, we took a break from the van to film some more of our adventures on the abandoned resort. Ooh, he is kind of big. If you haven't seen it, that video is absolutely hilarious and definitely worth checking out as well. Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to outlast the storm! <laughs> well, we're back from supper. And as is our tradition of life, we showed up here with one car. And now we have a parking lot of three cars and a golf cart. It's like they breed. So, like, we get a house, right? Boom. And then cars just accumulate <laughs> <laughs> immediately it's been 24 hours <laughs> <You're> a day <laughs> we tripled it <laughs> the next morning after the tank repair epoxy had hardened we filled the tank up to see if we had a working fuel pump cycling got a little pressure Come on. That's really weird. <laughs> All right, what the hell? Is it running back there? Can you hear it? Yeah, no, it was running. I don't have pressure. Yeah, it is running. I'm just gonna run. Fuel all the way up here, I guess. I would have sure thought it would have done that already. Yeah, no kidding. But there's a little pressure there. But I mean, like, you got a two, little and then it bleeds off to zero. It had none before. That's true. <laughs> Progress! <laughs> Yay! We're going to be in Arizona in no time. Yeah, let's, let's find that fuel hookup and start working backwards. After some digging, we concluded the new pump was junk and had to come back out. But this time, we're going in from above. Thankfully, we were able to steal this from that tool cart over there. They're all distracted with cleaning up a burned out building, so 
Everything has been left unattended, AKA accessible. <laughs> like their catalytic converters. <laughs> There's this circle right here. That's the fuel pump. I remember seeing it from the underside. <laughs> Uh, yeah, nice. I cut through it. What? Oh, it's just the vent. It's just the vent. I only cut the vent. It's fine. How did that not explode? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, hit it. Oh, nothing. So the three hundred dollar pump is the problem. This is going well. Yeah. Thankfully, it's a Mopar, and you could just peel it like an orange. Tested for voltage. We got a good twelve volts. We. Lifted the pump up off the bottom of the tank to see if it was sucking to the bottom of the tank, and there's just no fuel. So it's probably a bad aftermarket fuel pump. So this isn't why it didn't work. <laughs> but Dalton hopped on First Call, which is O'Reilly's professional website, and I got a he got a whole different list of part numbers that I couldn't even see on their normal website. And it looks exactly like the That's one that came the out. The one it. we need. Dalton saves the day again. Again. <laughs> We're back. We're back. It's loud. It's the egg wall. The egg wall is back at it. Turn up these tires, because guess what we got? A fuel pump. A fuel pump. This is the right one. Let's hope it works. Also, took this one out of the package, and it was packaged way different from that one. So someone else knew it was bad and returned it. All right, let's test this before we hook her up this time. Oh, hell yes. That's what we want to see. Put that back in. Come give this a listen. Oh, hell yes. Oh, she's gonna fire right up. Moment of truth. Clear? I'm clear, I'm just putting water in. Oh, I just heard the pump bind down, hell yeah. That's what we're looking for. Here we go. What? <laughs> what the hell? You had fuel out of the Schrader valve? Yeah. Excellent pressure. Probably sticky injectors. Probably. I mean, we need to get a little throttle. Come on, you son of a bitch. We got a long drive to make. Oh, yeah! Yeah! It's all clear up. You know, it wouldn't idle off the can either. I gotta wonder if. Idle air. So yeah, these I, butterflies are totally shut. All my foot's on it right now, right? I know. Give her a minute to come around, maybe. I think we need to cheat it and open those a little. That's what I'm, there's probably a set screw. Oh, it's, it might be not adjustable or buried in there. Well, that's a mud dauber nest. Well, much like I suspected, there's a cap on that screw and it is not adjustable. We have to drill that cap out somehow. Okay, well, that was adventurous to say the least, but we're in. Let's see if we can get the sucker to idle. Hit her. Hit it. More? Yep. Charging. That's Sweet. good. Great oil pressure. She's uh, a runner finally. She's good. I'll pump her all back up and uh, to clean oh. up this brake and hit the road. We'll do it. That'd be the weirdest sounding goat I've ever heard. Possessed. Anywho, I got the disc brake all cleaned up. Let's see if they work. Oh man, the best brakes. Let's load her up, man. Hey, hey the horn works. Sounds spicy. It's good. Yeah. Obviously, we can't successfully cannonball a van with no title across the country past border checkpoints without some chrome. Without sticking out like a sore thumb. Duct tape on the hood. Tin foil chrome tape, sir. That's a that's a step above, actually. Yeah, we're, we're probably good. We're set. Yeah, this chrome paint is actually pretty chrome looking. Damn. Look at that. If anything else, it actually look a little better now. Yeah. See, we won't be so pulled over. The police will be like, "Oh no, that thing's totally fine." 
Got to advertise. Oh yeah. The student driver sign gets us pulled over. <laughs> oh, you're a student driver. You can't in transit a vehicle. Awesome. This is an inside joke in our family. My cousin's gonna love this. You're welcome, Ben, and Anthony, and Jonathan, and Bill. Oh, it's right to life. Beautiful. All right, this is vastly uncomfortable. Like, you see the shot. Oh, oh floppy. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even have an armrest. It's also broke off. <laughs> you have the door. Oh, yeah. It's ah, I want to go home. Uh, Why do we get a van? We don't even get to go home. <laughs> we don't. We get to go on to where the work starts. <laughs> this was vacation before work. <laughs> okay, you got my therapist. We got like two gallons in this thing. Goodbye, goat patrol. We'll miss you. We'll miss you, goat shack. <laughs> <laughs> goat shack. I like that. All right, van full of a bunch of crap. And gas. Oh, it smells oh, so bad. Like so gas. strong. Sorry, Dalton, but you're going to have to go uh, no ciggies for the next eight hours. Or we'll blow up and die. Well, I'll kill us if, we, if I don't. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, the speedo works. Good. I can already hear the flat spots of the tires. Rump, 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 rump. What's that? I would look behind me, but there's no mirrors. We forgot about that. Oh. Well, here, I'll... Oh. What was what that? What on earth was that? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. It shifted. This is gonna be a bumpy ride to Arizona. <laughs> we're gonna need tires. Oh my god. They feel like we're driving on flats. Yes. They're so hard. Uh, that corner feels nice. Yeah, they might smooth out a little. There's third. The third gear's a little, just, a little firm. It must have been some sticky clutches on yeah. one of those. Sticky shift solenoid or something. miles. Let's put another 1400 on it. It does actually drive pretty well. It probably should at 75,000 miles. Yeah, true. Oh, a curve. The van's natural nemesis. <laughs> Wait a minute. Bruce? Oh, you brave man. Oh, oh, oh. Flex. Yeah. Cakewalk. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. More bumpies. Whoa. We're coming apart like the Columbia. <laughs> it's all falling apart. Abandoned ship. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> well, we passed our first cop. The student driver sticker seems to be working. So far, so good. We're one of one. This is Kevin and Dalton. Do the big illegal across the lower US. <laughs> No, the trick is only break one law at a time. Ah, and start compounding. That's when it gets bad. Exponential increase of catchability. Yeah. Those are legal terms, by the way. Yeah, they are. You can Google it. Eventually, the van made it to town and we pulled into the nearest gas station because that's what we needed. More gas fumes in the interior. The idle's doing a lot better. It's, I gotta stand on the brakes or else it does like 10 mile an hour. Like, <laughs> why did I turn that back down? It's going great. <laughs> yeah, we're already off to a strong start. Coolant all over under here. And the boils. Yeah, it's just a little boil. Yeah. We got a crack here. A crack here. A crack here. A crack there. A crack there. <laughs> well, JB Weld. JB Weld. And some flex seal. Lots of it. Maybe some stop leak even. Actually. You want the good news or the bad news? I mean, I'll take uh, the bad news. The bad news, we've got a pretty aggressive fuel leak. The good news, I think it's just that hose clamp. Well, she we lost it. a bit of blood, but the hemorrhage has been slowed. <laughs> you put a Band-Aid on it. <sighs> Still leaking. No, that's just what's mm -hmm. left over. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's mm -hmm. just what's left over. All right. All right, that's fine. Once the tank was full on the fumigated bomb wagon, we headed to the nearest O'Reilly's for the last few parts. Well, it stinks so bad, it's affecting my memory. I forgot to film us pulling in, but uh, we're here. Yeah, man. We're up to, uh, we're doing nine miles. That's great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> Stop leak. 
Uh, uh, just idle. JB Well duct tape on oh, that floor. I, I had duct tape. I came prepared. <laughs> we got plan A. Plan Still A stick. here, and then plan B simultaneously. So that's that's plan K. Plan K. Yeah. C through J are just ignorance. That's just ignore, 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 ignore. It's on uh -oh. fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We also have stick-on mirrors, because we ain't got none. <laughs> ah, yes, a shape behind us. <laughs> oh, there's something back there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. All we need to know is if there's something white, that means a car. Or red and blue, that, that means, means rum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give her. <laughs> nice. I may have missed the cut to fit step. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. I fix the gas tank here. You just paint <laughs> the affected area with this. Paint the good smell on. See? And then it just stays around forever. Hey, watch the overspray. Oh, <laughs> shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the stink is managed for it is. this moment. We're going to go get a room in the same town we've been in for four days? Yes. Yeah, I know everyone north of here. This is a resort. Yeah, I good. want a shower. Sorry, Matt, but nope. It's just not that good. Yeah. <laughs> You're just going to say how it yeah, is. It kind of sucks. You heard the man. Let's go find a hotel room, get a good night's sleep, take a shower, get some tires in the morning, and get the hell out of Boner, Texas. Sorry, oh, yeah. Bernie, Texas. With an O. Yeah, Boner, Texas. This is the new cannonball run, Dalton. We're going from Boner to Phoenix. Boner to Phoenix. Boner, Texas to Phoenix, Arizona. In our big, big, long <laughs> ram. <laughs> Maxi van. So we see if this fancy establishment has room for us. Oh, so do they have a valet? Yes, valet. Yes, valet! Do not scratch the paint. Yes. It's, it's it cars with more than your life. Is custom. Ah, damn it. No one stole it. Morning, Dalton. Morning. No one stole our van. I know, I was so disappointed. All right, well. We need tires. We need tires. I heard there's a place called Moe's down the road. It's called Lester's. Oh, is that what Not it was? Moe's. <laughs> Just lights right off. Come on. <laughs> We're going to be fine. Oh, I had an epiphany. We can cut the gas-soaked carpet out of the van. You are a genius. And it won't stink anymore. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, these mirrors. Oh, these oh, mirrors are God. something. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Barracuda? Oh yeah, 67. And they're like, is that a two idiots in a 96 Dodge van? Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. I like Lester's. Yeah, maybe Camino. that's Moe's and this. No, that's Moe's. This is Lester's. Yeah, Moe and Lester's parking lot. Oh, they're already like, what the hell? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the tires thing didn't work out. No. Old Mo and Lester's, they don't have it. We're gonna completely rebuild the cooling system here. You can tell it's in great shape. <laughs> We're dumped the K seal in it. The K seal is pretty good because it doesn't plug up everything. What is, what is this stuff like? Oh, it's chocolate milk. Yeah, it's the forbidden chalky milk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should have shook it better. Yeah, the light chocolate milk. That's fixed now. We'll never have to worry about it again. On to the road. To Walmart. A couple miles later, the van had successfully delivered us to Walmart where it got new tires. In the meantime, we took some efforts to fix the horrible gas smell. <laughs> that's the big stink. Oh, that's literally soaked in gas. Oh my god. That'll fix it. Yeah, maybe we won't get so high while we're driving now. Well, at least we came to the one-stop shop here. Oh no! Oh, oh now no. I'm definitely a bit. Oh, we're getting busted for sure. Well, you'll stink less. So. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, kind of burns the eyes. Oh my god! Kevin, we just filled the back of this van with white powder. Shit! <laughs> we got a pound of blow back here. Maybe it'll stink less. 
Well, we've got a big pile of white powder that's going to be blowing all over this thing sitting in the back. No title, a bill of sale on the back of a napkin. This bedazzled steering wheel cover, which is crucial because that thing's picky and sticky. And new tires all the way around. So, yeah, we're set. Is that too small? Not yet. Hang <laughs> on. I'm, a, I'm really good at this. Did you spit on it first? <laughs> this is not one of those episodes that your kids should watch, I guess. I'm sorry I said that oh. now, not Are earlier. You, you mean the, the van full of blow? <laughs> And the licking and the and the stretching. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That looks pretty good on there. Oh yeah, it's super shiny. I don't know which one's ours. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be screwed. All right, back on the road. Steering wheel cover's a lot nicer. 13 hours and 45 minutes, 952 miles to Phoenix. <laughs> God, start. ETA, 10 p.m. Oh, we go back two hours. Oh, oh, we'll be fine. We could maybe pull this off in one day. Let's try it. Yeah, this thing drives so much better with new tires. It's like you're riding on a cloud. I knew they were bad, but I didn't realize they were this bad. It actually yeah. drives really smooth. <laughs> Look, the police. Oh, good. Oh, oh. oh it's just a runner. Oh, Hell yeah. Man. Dude, so smooth. Oh, next left, 560 miles. <laughs> We're doing 70. Hey, you got a cruise control. Oh, yeah. They put it at the bottom of the steering wheel. It's going to go like this to turn it on. It works. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. Oh, dude, also, it doesn't stink. Oh, it's so much better. I just noticed, like, all the problems are gone. Except for the, the no title thing. Oh, yeah, there's that one. The prison thing. The prison thing. You know, let's hug it. Dude, <laughs> this is good. Oh, it's too good. No, really. no it's not. It, that's what the spray paint was for. Oh, we made it bad. We don't keep it. And it's still illegal. That's, that's the big one. All right. 558 miles left Ooh. until we continue for 458 miles. Make your tracks. Let's get her done. As Dalton drove the first leg of the trip, I set up some creature comforts in the van to make the drive a little easier. Infotainment center, communication center, uh, hydration center, and then of course, glasses, hose clamps, and a snack bar. Uh, and is the uh, snack bar open? Yes. You can say hello to it. In hello. Fact, I would say aloha snack bar. Aloha snack bar. Wow, it gave me chips. Just dodged another one. That was a sheriff of the canine unit, so apparently they can't smell baking soda. Uh -huh. What's our mileage at? How far are we going? Uh, we were at what? 330. 407. 87 miles. We've gone a little ways. We're now. doing 85 miles an hour. Oh, the cop just blew by us. Hammer down. Time for our first gas stop. Probably not even. We're just kind of stopping. I think Dalton's going to pee. I got to pee. <laughs> We're at half a tank, though. What do we have for mileage? 484. Jesus, 150 miles. Yeah. yeah pretty On good. half a tank. Actually, I don't even think I filled not it all the way up to 35 gallons. I only put 25 in. Right. Not even half a tank. All filled up and ready to roll? Yep. I'm just about to finish my wiener. Something wrong with this boy, I tell you. <laughs> what are we like? Eight million miles down the road, um, seven billion to go. Yeah, so four hundred till we stay on the road again for another four hundred. All right, three hundred to four hundred. As we continued down the highway, we discovered Meatloaf must have had a van at one point. So now I'm ready for the end of the van. <laughs> Hurry up, damn it, man! Cause if I gotta spend another minute with you, I don't know that I can nearly survive. So I can't. Big 
cold over there. Sir, you can't park there. Ah, uh, damn. 300 miles down already. Wow. It's, not, it's like what, 1 o'clock? Uh, 2.15. It's like what, 2.15? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Somewhere around the 400 mile mark, we pulled off into a gas station in Plateau, Texas for a break and a refuel. It's still just as loud at 30 as it is at 80. What? It's a little better. It is so windy. I'm deafer than normal. Got the a-hole open. In she goes. <laughs> We're in Plateau, Texas. We're near it. And if you're ever here, maybe you'll see this. I'm gonna put it here since it's less conspicuous. Maybe it'll last longer that way. 20 gallons at my approximate 250 miles is 12 and a half miles per gallon. This is a one ton van with a 360 doing 80 miles an hour in hellacious winds as you can probably hear. And it's getting 12 and a half with a headwind. Holy crap, this is going way too well. Once Dalton's done pooping, we'll get back on the road. Once I moved the van, the wind was so strong that it pretty much killed my audio. Moral of the story here is we checked on the radiator and found another crack, which we put some extra JB weld on. Dalton put his fancy shirt on, I did the same, and we zip tied the headlight that blew off in the wind back onto the van. After that, we hit the road once again. Another uneventful hour of driving later, we came across our first signs of what was to come. A border patrol checkpoint in the opposite lane. Well, notice that car has a green stripe on it. We're still driving, but that's the eastbound. That's north. Oh, yeah, east. Out of Mexico. Where's ours? Uh, Las Cruces, I think, is the first one. Look at all the cameras. Maybe there's one here. I don't know. Well, we're going to jail. Ah, here it comes. Somewhere after our 500 mile mark, we came up on some slowed traffic, and Dalton found a solution. Shortcut. Ah! On the road. Oh, there's barely even any traffic on oh. the highway. Oh, God dang it. One slow little group. We just drove through a ditch for no reason. Now we're definitely going to be on the cops' radar. <laughs> hey, that car's missing. <laughs> a little while later, we met our halfway point of the trip right outside of Juarez, Mexico, which, from what I hear, is not a place you want to wind up. Okay, now stay in the left lane. We don't. No, no, no. Oh, uh -oh. shit. That's. That's the Mexico exit. It's time for Kevin and Dalton's Wild Juarez Adventure! Ah, damn it. More traffic. Are we going for it? You know what to do. Let's do it. There's a curve over here. Better send it. Sending. Let's rock, bitches. Oh, God, the fan! Ha <laughs> ha! So long, losers. <laughs> Oh, what a machine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Mexico. The way best Mexico. Way better than the old one. Now, if you watch Mexico 3, then it gets really good. <laughs> yeah, they're busy. They're busy, exactly. <laughs> Holy crap. They are very busy. Oh my god. Jesus, all the way up the road. Is that a waste? Oh, that was a waste station back there. Oh. There it is, Dalton. We finished the first 560 miles and continued straight. Ooh. In a mere 122 miles, stayed straight to the right. Whoa. Yeah. ETA is still 1040. We're making killer time. It's going great. As we approached Las Cruces, we came up to the border checkpoint. It was finally time to see if our spray paint job and American themed hats would pay off or if we were going to spend the night in a federal prison. United on duty. It says I'll sit go. Up. It says go. We are going. Oh I gave him a, a friendly little Iowa wave. Oh, yes. They're not shooting. They're not, not yet. We've seen you have done it. Oh my god. Put 2,000 yards behind us. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. I guess you can take a non title vehicle. It is a passenger van through the Border Patrol checkpoint, but you gotta do everything just right. We got our white powder through there, no problem. <laughs> How many miles we at? We are at, well, we rolled over 76,000 on the van. Oh, shit. 76,000. Better strap it. Yeah, it's five miles now. 
We're only four and a half hours away. Oh, hell yeah. All right, welcome to Lordsburg, New Mexico. All right. AKA supper. Food. Food. Oh yeah, dude, this was good. Yeah. Let's get out of this thing. We've oh. been in this for 10 hours with maybe 20 minutes total gas stop. I'm like formed into this shape. <laughs> I am a Dodge B3500 passenger seat. <laughs> What a machine, though. Oh, it's done so good. I can't think of anything. I'm too tired. I can't either. Food. It van good. This looks like a nice little place. I got the lemonade, and Dalton got the budget lemonade. <laughs> On water. brand. <laughs> On brand. You keep it up. Someday you're going to be able to afford real, actual lemonade. Oh, okay. Not not the DIY kit. The DIY lemonade kit. Here, here's the sugar right here. This is my car. Well, Dalton, I'd say we nailed this one. Yeah, we've acquired sustenance. Very nice. Very nice. Good sustenance, too. Yeah. Good home-style food right there. Yeah, I'm ready to, like, fall asleep now. All right, me too. Four hours. There we go. As the sun set, we crossed the line over into Arizona. Shortly after that, we pulled off for gas and saw something on the side of the road that caught our eye. Oh, Did wait, we... those are just a band in there. Yeah, I think probably the owner or something. Yeah, like for decor. They're all super clean. Everything's clean here. Interesting. Oh, damn, look at the van. That's so majestic. There's a cat with a collar. Dalton made a friend. So it'd be like a 58? Yep. That is an Apache. Goddamn. These are out of my expertise. That's a Buick. I know that. 53 Ford. So this is a shoebox. That's the later body. It's got the big, like, quarter glass here. And that means it's a club coupe, I believe. Because it's not a business coupe, because it still has the trunk braces. And it's... the floor. Damn. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, welcome to Arizona, man. This is a commando, oh, a though. So that's 70s? 70. Um, 72, 3, I think. I could be totally off. That is a Buick Special. 55, 6, I think. This is the 150s car, I like. I will say it in the... Right there, 1956 Buick Special. That is the 150s car I would want. It's specifically this exact one. Hmm. But I can't have it. <laughs> we made it 417 miles in that tank and it was just below 8th. Oh yeah, it filled up way back in Texas. The check engine light finally went off. It's healed. I cleaned your glass. Five bucks. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Very nice. Red paint on him. Very nice. But now it looks like we hit somebody. <laughs> 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 Oops! <laughs> oh, by the way, did they have the tea? No, they didn't. What the hell they, is that? They had this giant modulating phallus of water. So, uh. <laughs> what? Stop wiggling. <laughs> Look at it go. They're, oh, they're both jigglings. Two hours, we'll be in a hotel. It's gonna tell <laughs> My god, I hope so. As we, the van, and the strange jiggly water bottles crossed the 900 mile mark, we came up on a police speed trap outside of Phoenix. Well, what did that guy do that we did? I don't know! <laughs> we went through a sting operation, drove through past like eight cops, and made it. One came up right beside us and sat there for like a mile or two on the back bumper, reading the side that said, don't tickle it, ram it. Then he carried on, and then three flew past us. But now we passed the truck, and he came out right away. We got one right behind us. One, oh, they got him, he got him. Oh, he lit something up without us. Oh, 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 Dodged another bull. God bless it, they were busy again. We are seven minutes away, and we're so tired, our minds have devolved into switching. And ease around it, or it's for entertainment. I can't wait to go to the heat hole and get a ream. <laughs> <laughs> we got here from now, from now, Moxica. What was it? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. So we started in, in Toxas, drove all the way through now, Moxica, to get to Arizona. Yeah, now we're in Phoenix. 
It's still the same. Still the same. Let's finish this ute at sleep. Sloop. <laughs> sloop. We gotta go. We gotta get to sloop. We gotta. <laughs> we get to. Even the we. <laughs> Ooh. Why get us go sleep, uh, sloop? <laughs> Getting off the 10. Look at this. We're off of it. And we're staying off of it. Wow. We're in less angolas. <laughs> or what did you call it? What? Angolos. Oh, less angolas. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, we did it. We made it all the way to the Semford Inn. Wow. We. It's bushings are a little squeakier than they were when we left. Huh. Well, just in time. <laughs> all right, well, there you go. We made it to Phoenix. The video's not over yet. Don't click away. We're gonna go to bed and wrap up the story of the van on my channel in the morning. A few things left to do. Good morning, Dalton. Oh, I slept like a rock. Me too. I slept like a wreck. <laughs> wreck. Uh, what do we, uh, what's... Just anything, really. What? <laughs> what's on the agenda today? We're not done with the van. We well, need the van. I think first, we gotta go check out my new ride home. Yes, we gotta get you a ride home. Which ironically, the guy with said ride home just told us what? It has no title. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't oh, know oops. that. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, the motor. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this again? <laughs> oh, you said he has a Dodge Magnum sitting there already out of a vehicle with 80,000 miles on it? Yeah, yeah. Like 20 minutes away. So we did all this for no real reason. We're not even done with this is still in a van. Oh, God. Let's get breakfast. Yeah. I'll figure this out as we go. <laughs> After a trip to the local diner for breakfast, at which we parked by a bunch of unmarked police cars, but finished our breakfast first. One step ahead of the law, as usual. <laughs> we then set out across town to pick up Dalton's car for the drive home. What the hell is this? Another Kevin and Dalton checkpoint. <laughs> They're going to get us yet. Yeah, once, once again, Due to other sacrifice, <laughs> the cops are busy. <laughs> oh, this is it. They're intervening. They're taking yes. us. <laughs> They're locking us in. All right. Survived another police interception checkpoint. <laughs> we fought the law, and the van won. <laughs> oh, what's our mileage, by the way? 76337. Missed it by seven miles, but that's a thousand. A thousand miles without a title in the van. A few more to go. Ah, yes, Dalton's car. <laughs> I see old stuff and a Mustang. I think we're in the right neighborhood. Now, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but this is the vehicle Dalton chose to drive all the way back to Kansas with no title. This is an 83 Jaguar XJS with a TPI small block Chevy from a Corvette. This was supposedly a turnkey car that would drive straight home with no issues, but to say the least, we lost an entire day just getting it to drive around the parking lot. To see that whole debacle, check out the video on Pole Barn Garage's channel. It is going to be a doozy. On the opposite end of things, the van was beginning to prove it was more consistent than death and taxes themselves. With the Jag being as reliable as a dead horse and the van still destined for the chopping block, it was quite evident we needed at least something a little bit reliable to get us both home. I had been cruising Marketplace religiously for the entire trip and I had finally found something that wasn't ridiculously overpriced completely sunbaked, and was going to be fun to drive home. With that, we loaded into the van and headed north out of Phoenix. There's the cops, and they're busy doing something else. <laughs> oh. Oh. Move along. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, Dalton, I think I've said this five times, but this is the last trip in the van. <laughs> this is, yes, <laughs> to go get something reliable that's not... A jag. Not the jag. <laughs> We're going an hour 45 north to pick up a car I'm looking at. 
Uh, it is not something old, it is not something normal, but it is something fun, V8, boosted in five speed, and for once on one of these trips all the way back from the oh. west, I wanna have some fun, and maybe some air conditioning. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> that was the van quickly reminding us that we are having fun. <laughs> oh, you dare cut me up. Well, that hurt. Good you God. Uh, uh, $1,400 later, I think the Jag will drive home. <laughs> this trip's going smooth as can be, man. It's great. <laughs> At least the van's been somewhat cheap. The van is the why best. Are we, why are we abandoning the cheapest vehicle? The cheapest and best vehicle is getting gutted. <laughs> what better view could you ask for when hammering across the desert in the van? In the van, yes. Somewhere in the Arizona hills, twisting up and down through the curves with the hammer wide open on the van and it not caring at all in the 100 degree heat, we realized it deserved to be immortalized in the hearts and minds of our fans as well. With that being said, if you guys head to junkyarddigs.com right now for a limited time only, you will be able to pre-order the van Pull Barn Garage Junkyard Digs t-shirt. Once again, this is a limited time pre-order. Get your orders in now because in 30 days, the van t-shirt is going to be a piece of history. And speaking of the van, an hour later, it arrived flawlessly at its destination. 1150 miles later, here we are. And there she is. And Dalton, you should probably get that one. The, the Challenger? Any of them, really. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Maybe this, actually. Oh, that would be the most useful. You've got the Jag to have a lot of fun in all the way home. That's going to be a spicy, fun car. Check that out once again on Dalton's channel, Pull Barn Garage. <laughs> That's what all the $1,400 in boxes is for. <laughs> and now I too have something. Yeah, this is not at all something I would normally buy. And honestly, probably buying this to flip it but the other reason is the fact that for some reason out here a fox body that needs some work brings nine grand it's a hundred thousand mile gt with stage one cams gt 500 injectors and a 70 mil turbo in a five speed three valve i don't even know probably gonna is. blow up on the way home what is that i don't know <laughs> where do you put the carburetor it's, it's got the... like 46 feet of timing chain that's all i know what and i'm kind of scared said I don't, I haven't, I don't know where the pliers goes, Dalton. <laughs> no, it's not at all a normal vehicle for the channel. And no, it's probably not something I'm going to make a video of on the drive home. I just want to have some fun for once. Enjoy the drive back through the mountains and stuff. So if they want to watch suffering, they'll just have to watch mine. I mean, you'll see this on that video. Yeah. Time for the last 100 miles in the van. I'm going to relish it. I think we've said that 15 times. It'll probably, it'll probably be... 46,000 miles from now, we're still driving it with no title. JD will be going to prom in it. <laughs> <laughs> we are once again one step ahead of the law, for they are busy. Man, there's a lot of crashes down here. I think that's the third one. It's very mild. It's a 70 mil on three kit, and he's got it set up for 91, a very mild tune. It's basically a street build. Yeah, it might not be carbureted, and it might be way too comfortable, but this car was the move for these roads. Like, look at this view. Since we had over 1,200 miles to drive home, I obviously didn't want to beat on this thing right away until I got comfortable with it, which to say the least, I got plenty comfortable and brave on the drive home, which you can see in Dalton's Jag video. Either way, as we climbed back to the mountains, the van kept up with the Mustang just fine, and eventually we hit some traffic in Phoenix. Suddenly, I realized why all of the cars on Marketplace are automatic transmissions. Because of this crap. <laughs> Rush hour in Phoenix. Oh my god, my leg. Once again, the police are busy. <laughs> Once again, another half hour of uneventful driving later, we finally arrived at our true destination, Tony's house in Phoenix. 76,590, 1,263 miles in the van. In the van. 17 years, 1,263 miles. The van has driven all the way from Bernie, Texas to Phoenix, Arizona, where now on Dalton's channel, we will be extracting the driveline 
and putting it in a disabled veteran's car so that for the first time in a long time, if ever, the car's been parked since 1975. Jesus. <laughs> if you want to see the rest of that car and see the entire swap, check that out on Dalton's channel. You guys can head over to his channel right now and watch that video. With that being said, thank you guys very much for joining us on this adventure with the van. Thank you to Matt from Demolition Ranch for giving us the van for this cause. We'll see you right here next week for another episode of Junkyard Digs. Stay greasy out there. Peace. Goodbye. Well done, sir. We're not done. We haven't even started. <laughs> It's like day seven and this we're just... This doesn't run. That doesn't run. The van runs. <laughs> the van. <laughs> the van is eternal.